the best of, Yuri's Night is next Friday. It's an international celebration to commemorate milestones in space exploration. And to celebrate, the Museum of Flight is holding the ultimate space-themed dance party that will transform the museum into an intergalactic nightclub. And joining us from the ARC Lounge to talk more about this is Ted Huter. Am I pronouncing that correctly, Ted? It's Ted Hutter. Hutter, I'm sorry. My apologies <laughs> from the Museum of Flight. And then Ron Chapman with C89.5 Radio. Nice to have you both with, with us this morning. Thanks. Glad to be here. So before we dive into the events here and the Museum of Flight, Ted, can you talk more about the international celebration, Yuri's Night, and, and what that is? Okay, Yuri's Night, it's, uh, it's something that started almost 25 years ago now. Uh, some people with NASA got together and said, you know, like, let's, let's celebrate human space flight. And they chose the, uh, the first, first trip around the world that was made by Yuri Gagarin on April 12th in 1961. And that day, April 12th, also coincides with the first space shuttle flight 20 years later. So they started this party. It all began down in uh, Southern California, Los Angeles launched the first Yuri's Night celebration, and it's been spreading ever since. And they have a very definite uh, uh, goal on this, is that they want to use the power of space to bring people together around the world. Mm -hmm. So it's become a, a global event now. What a neat piece of history. Yeah. Thanks so much yeah. for sharing that. All right, let's talk about the dance party now. Ron, <laughs> C89.5 Radio is DJing. <laughs> Talk with us about the danceable project that the station put together for Yuri's Day. We do a, a fabulous podcast called Coping 101 that deals with mental health issues among young people. And uh, one of our partners at Children's, uh, Seattle Children's, uh, read about a dance event where deaf and hard of hearing uh, persons were able to come in and not just take part in the event, but actually feel the music. And they came to us and asked if we could track down the company that was responsible for this, a group uh, out of California called Not Impossible Labs. And we partnered with them and decided that uh, this would be a tremendous thing to be able to do. And the perfect opportunity came with the Museum of Flight and their Yuri's Day event. So we put together a dance party. We have these haptic suits that take the music and translate it among several points in your body. There are several points of articulation where you can actually feel the sound. So the DJ is going to be playing. That will be translated to these haptic signals and people in the deaf and hard of hearing community will be able to feel the music along with the people that are there dancing. And we, we just kept looking for ways to make it better and, and plus it a little bit. And we uh, went and got Annabelle England, who is a former EDMA award winner, uh, vocalist of the year, uh, is also a DJ. And we asked Annabelle England to, uh, to come out and be our DJ for Dance Able, which is what we're calling this event that we're putting on with our partners at Seattle Children's, Seattle Children's and the Museum of Flight. And it's, it's just an experience. It's something that brings the community closer together. Uh, our station is all about inclusion, whether it is uh, Colors of the Rainbow or Pride or anything that brings people together. And that includes the deaf and hard of hearing community, which is uh, a community that you don't normally associate with a radio station but we wanted to make, uh, make the tent as large as possible, bring as many people on board, and so happy to be working with a partner like the Museum of Flight to be able to do this at an event like Yuri's Day. Ron, that is just fantastic. And just looking at some of the video that we've been playing, it looks like so much fun. <laughs> so Ted, talk about what else people can expect at this Yuri's Night celebration. Okay, well, first I'd just like to mention that in addition to the dance able aspect is that uh, we'll have, a, <clears throat> excuse me, a number of speakers that day and um, all of the programs will have ASL translators. So we are trying to make it a great experience for the deaf and hard of hearing community throughout the day, no matter if they're dancing or participating in the other events. Um, <clears throat> But Yuri's Night, um, 
again, what would you like to know about that? It's, uh, it's, it's a big party is what it really is. It's a 21 plus event. It begins at 6 p.m. to 11 p.m. There's an after party in Soto. That's a separate event. But it's something that we've been doing for about 10 years now, and it just gets better every time. Is there any recommendations on um, costumes or what people should wear when they show up? <laughs> oh, yes, yes. Um, any, anything goes, basically. Okay. But we, we look for space-themed uh, costumes, and we encourage it, and it's amazing what people uh, show up in. They're, they're fantastic. And, you know, uh, the, arts, the arts community has really embraced Yuri's Nights throughout the world as well. So. Um, you know, it's a very artistic expression if that's the way you want to choose it, too. Guess I've got to start shopping for a space suit. Mm -hmm. Thank or you. just make it. <laughs> or just make it. There you go. <laughs> well, I got time. Make it. Yeah. That's a great <laughs> idea. Thank you both so much for coming out and, uh, and talking to us about the event. So much fun. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks, guys. If you want to get more information and buy tickets, we made it easy for you. Just scan the QR code that's going to pop up on your screen there. That will take you directly to kobonews.com slash hotlinks, and there you're going to find a link to Yuri's Night at the Museum of Flight. That looks like so much it fun. It does look like fun, yeah. and I love how accessible it is, the yes. dance-able concept, and yes. how people in the deaf or hard-of-hearing community, community will be able to feel the music. I know, isn't that cool? It's so awesome. Yeah, yeah. love the costumes, too.